but I feel like it's much more pleasant now. It has much more resonance to it. It's beautiful. Hey, what's up? Aaron back here for my 31st reaction video. And uh, we're going to be doing Angelina Jordan. And again, at the age of eight, this is her performance of What a Difference a Day Makes. And so um, I've done a little bit of research on this and uh, I'm familiar with the tune as well. Um, so specifics, first and foremost, it's most notable and most known from the Grammy winning performance by Dinah Washington in 1959 who was the queen of the blues. Now, unfortunately, Dinah passed away four years later at the age of 39. So that this performance, that um, iconic performance is one of the things that we have to you know, live on in her memory. And uh, I've already been told as a forewarning that Angelina uh, performs it very, very similar to Dinah Washington. So um, I'll definitely be commenting on that because I did give a listen to Dinah Washington's version, I think twice, if I'm not mistaken, before this maybe even three times, I did listen a couple times, um, just to hear kind of some subtle nuances and so forth. Uh, but just a little bit more background in case you're more interested in the song, you want to hear more, um, you know, the sort of original Latin song. Um, and so if you want to hear more of that, you can check out Natalie Cole's version of it, where um, that's, that's fun. Um, Dean Martin actually sings it both in English and in Spanish, um, could dance a rumba to that. Um, also, Aretha Franklin version is, is a bit of a masterclass. Um, I'm wondering if she leveraged any, if Angelina leveraged any of Aretha's performance in here or any of Aretha's learnings from there. Um, you know, is, is Aretha one of her influences? Um, I feel like I've already heard a couple of Aretha type phrases in her. Um, Esther Franklin's super soul and funk, upbeat. Um, we've got Andy R Russell's version, which, you know, certainly influenced Dinah Washington. Um, additionally, another one that influenced Dinah Washington was Sarah Vaughn. And so you've got a couple of people that influenced Dinah Washington, who's the influence to Angelina, clearly, in her version of this. Um, and then, yeah, you've got Gloria Estefan's version, which is a fusion of multiple styles. And then um, the more recent modern version is Renee Olstead. Um, who I just learned about in doing research for this, um, actually, is, uh, it sounds like she has a lot of the similar types of goals, at least at, at this age of Angelina, in aspiring to go back to the roots of jazz and blues um, in very modern performance. But anyway, um, let's, let's get into it now that I've, I've gone uh, quite a bit at length. yngste vinner av norske talenter. Og helt siden første strofe, så har denne jenta bergtatt oss og gitt oss gåsehud med den voksne, flotte stemmen sin. It says Angelina, but velkommen I hit og gratulerer. Det er subtitles on, I think. Pretty cool. Really. <laughs> she's saying Angelina's awesome, I'm guessing, right? Like, oh my gosh, look at the girl at this age. Probably she she won Norway's Got Talent, I imagine, because I, I think, if I'm, if, if I'm mist not mistaken, this is after that. I think it's immediately after it. Yeah, because progression-wise, you told me this is what's natural next, so. What have you done since you won Norsk Talent? Ah, now they're talking about it, yeah. I have gone to school. Norsk Talent, I think it is. Norsk Talent, I think it is. But it was fun. It was fun. But have you sung a lot? Yeah. Og så lurer vi jo på, hva skal du gjøre nå i sommer da? Skal du på ferie, eller skal du bare reise rundt og synge, eller hva skal du gjøre? Jeg skal gå... Uh, jeg skal reise. Skal du reise? Hvor skal du reise? Til USA. Oi! <laughs> det høres spennende ut, det er langt. Ok, I clearly need to get better at listening to specific versions in terms of requests from you guys, so my apologies that this isn't... Um, unless you speak Norwegian. Da går det. Hva skal du gjøre der da? Skal du synge eller skal du bare på ferie? Begge to. Begge deler. Ja, det høres bra ut. For når jeg tenker sånn jente på åtte år og det er sommer, så tenker jeg sånn spise is, dra og bade, kanskje ta en tur på Tusenfryd. Rekker du noe av det da? Ja. Ja, må jo rekke det. I hvert fall en is. Ja, du kan se hennes tooth fullt grønne, og den neste er en work in progress. Men du, er du klar for å synge for oss nå? Gleder meg. Åh, hvis du gleder deg, Angelina, så skal du bare visst hvor mye vi gleder oss. Her er hun med What a difference a day makes. Vær så god. What a difference a 
Again, I'm trying to find that right balance of, you know, do stop some to not have copyright strikes and so forth, but also at the same time, not stop too much. But, oh my gosh, she sounds just like Dinah Washington. It's uncanny. And so she is clearly emulating her. And, um, yeah, I mean, I had just reacted to... Um, her at one and a half years old doing Whitney Houston um, and we saw the same thing already at that age where she's trying to emulate well she was just trying to sing then but you see in later versions where she does multiple versions of Billie Holiday um, and she's emulating Billie Holiday we've seen her emulate other artists and this is what builds up her repertoire her soul her understanding is trying to emulate and um, you know, I saw something recently, a video posted by, you know, some vocal coach saying, you know, because I, I am trying to sing a little bit, um, you know, it's, it's easier to just sing randomly than to, to find time to play my trumpet and so forth. So I'm thinking maybe at some point I'll, I'll try. But anyway, um, they talked a little bit about, um, you know, one of the best ways to learn to sing is to emulate. To, and, and you see like people like Ariana Grande. Um, you know, she got her success by, you know, being able to produce like all of these other big people like Whitney Houston, for example, right? And um, here you see Angelina Jordan going through all of the standards one after another with, with, you know, major iconic jazz and blues singers and Billie Holiday and, uh, you know, Ella Fitzgerald and, and, and just goes on and on and on here, right? Now Dinah Washington. Um, and so she is emulating everything down to the timing of the music, um, where she's, she's got a nice swing to it. In some cases, she's leading into the next measure. We saw that in the first recording in the studio, um, that I reacted to. And, um, you know, she's swinging with it. She's feeling it. She's doing a lot of the same. Um, she, she, her, her sound even is, is mirroring Dinah Washington. Um, Although there were a couple points where I feel like now I don't obviously know the Dinah Washington version inside and out, but I feel like she did add a couple of her own points here. I'm, I'm also getting better at this. So I'm going to write down exactly where we're stopping. So I don't have to go find where I left off. So 313. So, um, oh, and it does help having the lyrics there because I wrote 24 little hours. Yeah, perfect. So let's go here. So. I believe that she adds her own little vocal fry that you don't hear in the Dinah Washington version. Uh, 24, something like that. What a difference a day made. Timing, everything. I'll check in a minute. 24 little hours. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say I'll check in a minute to see. If it, I think it's in the same key. She adds a little vocal fry there on top of the same vibrato. That's another thing is that she's now shifting her vibrato closer to, closer to a Dinah Washington vibrato. Now you could still hear some of her other learnings in there with her vibrato, but she's pretty dang close to how Dinah Washington does it. It's, it's uncanny.
And then the last thing I wrote um, is the Lord, what a difference. Um, and so the, the, the whole concept of this song is that yesterday was blue, right? Today I'm a part of you. This line says it all, right? And so what a difference a day makes. I met you. You're now a part of my life. Everything's on the up, right? Um, wait, I don't think I went this far. Did I go too far? Oh, wait, it was 313. Yeah, oh, here it is. Okay. So I think, I think this is a little different than the Dinah Washington version. How she says, Lord. I feel like it's more, Lord, where you're loud, like a lar almost, with Dinah Washington. I think that's right. I think so. Lord, what a difference a day makes. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm just making it up. <laughs> Apologies. But it sounds so much like it. Sorry, my mouse is being finicky on me. There's a rainbow before me. And should smile. Skies above can't be stormy. Since that moment of me. So she's really channeling her inner Dinah Washington, but you can still hear some Billie Holiday in there. Star like I can't do it, but the way she says stormy, like it's it's it I feel like it's in the back here. Um again I'm not a vocal coach, so I don't know if that's true, but I'm I'm it sounds to me like it's coming from the back of her throat, like the back here. Yeah, that sounds a little different than so I think she's emulating Dinah, but you hear simply holiday in that. Just like Dinah Washington. It's heaven when you find a romance on your menu. What a difference a day made. And the difference is. go back to that very airy tone but I feel like it's much more pleasant now it has much more resonance to it it's beautiful So the arrangement's very similar as well. Um, I think at the beginning, um, there were strings coming in in Dinah Washington's version, which there's just the piano here, so it's a live performance. And by the way, um, you could see the bleachers here, but I didn't know at the beginning of this until they kind of panned around that there's as many people here as there are. That's a pretty decent sized concert to be performing right out of the gate. Um, you know, clearly she's already just a star at this point, just an absolute star. Um, yeah, I mean, again, she's teetering on that, that perfection. I mean, um, 
the the pronunciation of deer I think could be a little bit more pronounced. Um, you do hear that with Dinah Washington, uh, but she's emulating almost everything, um, almost everything. Um, it's unbelievable. But then you do hear a little bit of a couple vocal fries and things in there. So she has adding a little bit of her own. Um, I imagine those fries were actually uh, chosen. But some of the other things that she she is doing. Um, I imagine that it's just there and that's that's what happens when you start to develop your own sound and she's already Developing her own sound like you can already tell it's her Which people spend a lifetime trying to get their own sound I, I think I talked about this in one of my other videos Maybe it wasn't even an Angelina video But you know one of the best compliments as a musician you could get from somebody else is You know somebody saying they sound like you Meaning you have your own sound that is recognized. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, oh, so I'm seeing, I have the shirt. You can see it in there. So just for, if you're asking, um, it says, I asked God for strength and courage. And it's a picture of Wonder Woman. And it says, he sent my wife. Um, which, you know, she's just a superhero. Um, broke her spine and was hiking up a mountain six months afterwards. Um, uh, or six weeks afterwards. It's unbelievable. Was it six months? Jesus, so long ago. No, I think it was six weeks. Nevertheless, um, this was fantastic. Um, she's so comfortable. We saw a little smile from her. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got no criticism for this. Really, like, it was, it was dang near flawless. And, um, she's coming into her own. Um, I love the, you know, I mean, the only thing I could critique, but it's not even a criticism because it's what has allowed her to become what she's become today, right? And it's a very good thing, um, is that, you know, she's, she's, she's emulating to the T these artists. Whereas you could, you could argue that she could make it more of her own. But I think that you always have to learn something before you change it, right? You have to learn something, learn it really well, and then you can modify it. And she's doing exactly that. Like literally, this is a masterclass in going through all of the standards and all of the greats and just emulating them and learning those sounds and doing it and performing it. And, you know, all, it, 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 it's, it's evident why she's become the superstar she has become today. Um, and I thank you once again for this. Um, hey, an interesting note that, you know, I don't think I've done with the Angelina Jordan. And by the way, it's Angelina Jordan Day. This is my third video I'm doing of her today. Um, but something I hadn't done, I don't think with Angelina Jordan is I'm doing a little bit of an experiment. It's Thursday, um, right at about three and a half thousand subscribers. And I'm just curious if I put a little push out there, if I can hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the week. So, um, nevertheless, I appreciate you, uh, especially all you devout Angelina fans. Amazing. All your feedback, keep it coming. I'm going to continue to try to get better and, uh, we will see you in the next one. Thank you much.